This meeting is being recorded. Hello everyone, welcome to another video series of Expert Matters only on ISBR's official YouTube channel. Today we have one of the most talented guests with us. He's a founder of an e-commerce based shopping extension company named Flipshoppy. He's also managing director at unscart.com and chief executive officer at Fairpay. He brings years of experience in B2B service to e-commerce and e-commerce affiliated website. So I would like to welcome Mr. Gaurav Kumar. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. Thank you so much for taking our time. Yeah, thank you for uh, inviting me. Yes. So, yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, we would like uh, you to start with your journey and experience in e-commerce. So basically, uh, the first journey I started uh, with the uh, with flip shop. So we were in college days and we used to face some uh, shopping uh, issues in e-commerce like there are always price fluctuation. There right. is a lot of issues in finding uh, relevant coupons. So there we came to know th this is the problem uh, which we are facing and we are in I think second year. So lot of shoppers, online shoppers are facing same issues. So that's the reason we start working on the Chrome plugin flip shop, mm -hmm. where basically we will, uh, we will use, we used to provide auto apply coupons and price graph for each product where a person can check how price fluctuate, uh, over the, uh, of the product, uh, over the time. And if the price is very perfect, he can buy it. And if he, uh, and if, if he, and also there is one, uh, one more feature we added that is auto apply coupon. So you don't have to search for the coupon. There is, uh, we already have one uh, in, in the in the plugin. There is a button. You just click it. You'll find the best coupon, and it will apply the best coupon. You don't have to search for it. So these are the two problems which we address in the flip shop, and this is how we started the flip shop. With the time we grew, and right now we have one lakh shoppers per day uh, across the India. And oh every day we, yeah, we monthly we are driving more than fifty crore sales to different e-commerce through our uh, website, plugin, and uh, groups. So this is how I uh, started uh, in this journey. And uh, yes, after that we build a lot of product. Right now we uh, we have. Uh, we have more than 20 uh, plugins where we have lots of users and we are helping users in different way. So anybody can so use it? Way. If I want yes, to shop anybody. online or on Amazon, can I be able to use it? Yes, yes, you can be able to use it. Oh, That's wow. the, that is, the plugin is totally uh, free and no charge out of it. That is amazing. Okay. That is amazing. I'm sure a lot of us watching this video must be uh, shoppers and especially binge shoppers who goes to window yes. shopping on online websites. And this would be really, really helpful for all of us. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm, I'm going to add the extension of the plugin in the description of this video for sure. Sure, sure. Yes. So, so what are the highest paying skills required in the domain? I am sure nobody can easily get into e-commerce that easy. So what are the highest paying skills required in the domain? Uh, the, the most important thing uh, in the e-commerce is how you understand your customer. Uh, it, is, it is not like uh, the, the most important thing, the whether you are you have that mentality how to drive the sales. It's not about coding, not about marketing always. It's mid right. midway. Yeah, you have to suppose we have to drive the sales. We know some sales is coming. So you have to think what type of people are going to purchase, who will be the target audience. So basically the person who really knows the market very well, like uh -huh, this this product is purchased by 30 years of people, mostly from this area. So it is like the, the person who have understanding of market is like mostly highly paid uh, uh, jobs in this e-commerce domain. Right. So, uh, and most rewarding also. It is not uh, apart from the code. Uh, yes, coding and everything is no doubt is important. But after you develop, how you run the website? It's just about how you have to understand shopping behavior. You have to know how to promote your product. So most important is like you, the person should know the, about the shopping behavior and all. Definitely, uh, and definitely, because e-commerce in is an evolution. It's changing. It's changing the uh, what do we say? 
it is obviously changing the definition of e-commerce shopping experience and everything so so my next Bobby. question to you would be highest paying jobs in e-commerce uh no doubt it is like product management uh, if you are really at the position uh, like uh, you are uh, managing uh, some sort of uh, uh, basically product management or you can say not exactly product management um, basically how how well you able to partner with the your uh, uh, online online uh, so, shopkeepers where who are selling on platform and how well you are driving sales to them so basically uh, is like highest paying job in e-commerce i can say from my experience is like mostly the the person who is driving sales to the uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, to the e-commerce, through, through the changing yes. lifestyle. Because, uh, because uh, it is always like, even though you 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 have a lot of knowledge and all, but you don't know how how to drive sales, right. uh, how when customer buy, when to put the ad. So it is like you should know the major uh, the thing people need to reward in e-commerce. You know how to drive the sales. That is much more important. Uh, than anything else in e-commerce because e-commerce is all about selling, right? If you don't right. know the, uh, the primary is still and most important still in the e-commerce is selling. So that's what Definitely. I think is the most important thing. Definitely. If a company has better sales and increased marketing strategies, it is obviously changing perspective and changing right. the definition of online business. Definitely. Yes. Uh, so with your journey and with the time of your experience, what are the major challenges and barriers you faced in your uh, journey with e-commerce? The major challenge uh, which uh, we used to face uh, during our journey is mostly to what team uh, basically you have to find very the person who is really good at sales really good at doing paid marketing so i think that most challenging job for personally in my opinion is this thing and also to save the vision i mean love sales right safe with the vision of company it doesn't mean the, we are in sales from some unauthorized matter but still we are going okay let's do it let's do it no so it should sync with the company vision and uh, it should have proper synchronize with the company vision the sales and marketing should sometimes proper synchronize with the marketing uh with the company vision that is i think major challenge we used to face in development is like clear they have to develop this they will develop this but if marketing goes wrong so the whole company vision become changed Definitely. it's very difficult yes. to again rebranding a lot of headaches there so i think the major challenge is to hire a person right person and uh, hire the person with your vision with the company who matches the company vision so this was i think major i guess challenge. perfect combination and perfect blend of hr activities mm -hmm. and sales and marketing would give the best ah. results to e-commerce websites yes 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 definitely so so we have almost covered all the questions now in the end almost all the students watching this video must be the age of 20 and above so what will be the one line of motivation you would like to tell all of our viewers right now uh i think the most important thing uh, people at 20 should focus should learning some skill set even though it is sales marketing coding he should not learn by just uh learn by knowledge thing yeah, i just have to take some course there is difference between you learning by skill set and learning by co uh, uh, courses because in the college we used to study to pass the exam right? So right that is totally different thing and when you are going to learn for your skill set so you have to go through very properly mm -hmm. you have to understand what uh what in market's demands what what type of what type of uh thing you have to learn so a lot of the i think people in 20 should more focus to what is still set and the still set which is which is currently running the market definitely he should not yes. just uh matlab, randomly go and uh, go for it so he should understand this thing very properly definitely so sir. i think that is the most important uh, thing uh, people do in the 20s 
after 2 3 years when you come to marge you understand a lot of stuff that not a big issue but till a uh, few years so you should understand uh, you should take the thing in a still set form you should not take in a form of uh, like courses you learn it you pass this no it is not like you think you when you learn this thing you are going to use for next 5 years so you learn in a that way i'm sure i'm sure definitely all everybody who is watching this video they must be gaining a lot of experience and they must be able to adapt knowledge from your years of experience so so we have almost covered all the questions and thank you so much for taking our time for this yeah. video and this interaction yeah thank you thank you thank so you much sir, sir.